Good Thoughts from Vision's Daily Devotion, The Word for Today. Proverbs 29 verse 18, where there's no vision, the people perish. The word for today is about the law of entropy. A pastor wrote, the second law of thermodynamics states this physical truth. If left to their own devices, everything in the universe moves towards disorder and decay. Cars rust, food rots, it's also called the law of entropy. And the only way to prevent entropy is to introduce an outside energy source to counteract it. The technical term for this is negentropy. And the refrigerator is a good example. You can plug it into an electrical outlet and it produces cold air that keeps food from rotting. If the refrigerator gets disconnected from its energy source, entropy will take over again. And things get smelly. Isn't that what happens when we get disconnected from God? Life moves towards decay and disorder. So how do we overcome our entropic tendencies? Solomon said in Proverbs 29.18, Where there's no vision, the people perish. If sin is entropy, then investing our energies into a God-sized vision is negentropy. The word perish comes from the Hebrew word para, and entropy is a fair translation. Perhaps many church problems don't come from an abundance of sin, but rather a lack of vision. We're not suggesting that there aren't sin problems, or that those problems don't need to be dealt with. But in too many instances, there isn't enough vision to keep churches busy. Our vision isn't big enough to demand all of our energies, and so we focus on petty problems to keep us busy. The same is true on a personal level. If we had a larger vision of what God wanted to accomplish in us and through us, our problems would diminish because we're consumed by a cause greater than ourselves. The Law of Entropy. That's Vision's Word for Today. The Word for Today, Australia's most widely read daily devotion. Read it, share it or subscribe. Free at vision.org.au or in the Vision app. Just another way Vision is helping you look to God daily.